This is part two of demoing movie jukeboxes that run on the Popcorn Hour network media tank. Today we're going to look at my little movie jukebox. As you can see on the main index page, our movies are arranged in a movie wall with seven movies across with 21 total movies being displayed on the screen at any one time. As we press the direction buttons on the remote, the selected movie or link will be highlighted in yellow. At the top is the title of the jukebox, which is editable so you can personalize My Little Movie Jukebox to your own liking. Below that are the links for selecting movies by alphabetic listing. Next are the genre links. You can have up to 20 genre links visible and they also can be displayed in seven languages. You have complete control as to how many genres are displayed and the language. Back at the top of the page, we see that the title text is shown in red. This indicates that the index page is sorted alphabetically. Anytime we press the red button on the remote, we will return to the alphabetic listing. If we press the yellow button on our remote, our movies will be sorted by year with the newest movies being shown first. For your convenience, you'll also see the release year shown below each movie. Also note that the title is now being displayed in yellow. If we press the green button on the remote, our movies will be sorted by year with the oldest movies being shown first. The title is also now being displayed in green. Let's press the red button to go back to the alphabetic index. If we were to use our remote to select the D alphabetic listing, you'll see that all the movies that begin with the letter D are now shown on the screen. Now let's look at some of the genre links. The first one is top rated. Let's click on this link. We now see that any movies appearing in the Internet Movie Database of top 250 movies that are in our collection will be displayed on our screen. If we select the TV link and press the Enter button, we'll see a listing of all TV shows, miniseries, and documentaries being displayed. The next genre is box sets. If we use the remote to select a box set, let's say Die Hard, and I'll go there. And press enter, we'll see the movies on the screen that are part of that box set, with the release year being shown under the movie's DVD cover. Let's press the return and go back. As you can see, there are all the normal genres that one would expect to see listed here, with some special ones also. Let's go to Oscar list and press enter on the remote. Now showing on the screen are all the movies that have been nominated for Best Picture Oscar. If we press the yellow button, we'll sort these movies by year newest first. For 2008 we can see that Benjamin Button, Milk, The Reader, Slumdog, and Frost Nixon were the Best Picture nominees. The BP after the year under Slumdog indicates that Slumdog won the Best Picture Oscar for that year. Now let's go to one of the director discographies and star discographies. I'm going to click on Directors. You can show up to 40 different directors of your choosing on the screen. If we select Alfred Hitchcock right there and press Enter, 
we go to a page showing all of the movies that he directed. And of course they have the year listed underneath it, the movie cover. Now let's go to stars. Here we can have up to 160 different stars shown. Let's select one of my personal favorites, Kate Beckinsale. And we can see all of the movies in our collection that she acted in. There she is. Okay, we've explained the nitty-gritty about the index pages. Now on to the movie details page. Let's go to a movie and see the details page. Select 310 to Yuma with your remote and press enter. Here we have a typical details page for my little movie jukebox. There's a fan art background for this movie and at the top is the movie name, then the genres for this movie. Next up is the production company, the release date, running time, MPAA rating, and finally the icon for the movie file type. There also is an option to have the Seen It flag displayed here as well. Below this is the Internet Movie Database rating. Next up is the movie plot information and below that is the cast and crew information. On the right is the highlighted play button. If we press enter now with our remote, the movie will play. Now down in the cast and crew area, you'll see some of the people's names or links highlighted in red. This lets us know that there's bio information available for this person. Let's press the left arrow button and select one of these actors and press enter on the remote. Now displayed is the bio page for Russell Crowe. We can see his photograph as well as his bio information. Down below is shown the movies in our collection that he's participated in. We also can click on any one of these movies and go see its details page as well. Now let's go back to the main menu and find a TV series to look at. I'll use the remote to select TV and press enter. Now let's go highlight Band of Brothers and press enter on the remote. Here's the details page for a typical TV series. We have fan art in the background, and in the upper section is the general series information plus the main plot. On the lower half of the screen are the episodes. On the left, next to each episode, are the play buttons. The episode plot is listed as well as the air date and episode length. We can use a remote to highlight and watch any episode that we want. Well, there you have it, folks. A walkthrough of My Little Movie Jukebox for the Popcorn Hour. I think you'll agree that this jukebox is well suited for those of you having larger movie collections. It's very easy to use, uh, especially for the whole family. Thanks again for watching, and enjoy your movies. For more information, please visit www.networkmediatank.com. In part three, we're going to do some demos for yet another movie jukebox.